What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, I still haven't picked a new permanent unboxing knife so Guardian Tactical it is once again. This knife was likely sent by uh, one of my viewers after I made the uh, community request for there was there was like a whole list of knives I was looking for for review. I had a whole bunch of very generous people contact me, send me stuff. I've got kind of a system for figuring out what came from who because not everybody's real name is exactly what their Instagram tag is or their YouTube tag is. So um, I generally find out after it's unboxed, but it makes it more exciting because I genuinely don't know what's in this box. <laughs> um, so we're gonna all, you know, sort of experience that together. As usual, if you're watching my channel because you've got the itch, you can simply pull open the description and find things like my Amazon store, uh, my merch store from Redbubble, my Patreon if you'd like to support the channel, and my sister channel, Silent Complex. Check that out. If you're looking for knives and gear, um, my new uh, Amazon storefront uh, is set up to be absolutely as convenient as possible. So if you'd like to know what I recommend, my most recommended knives, uh, budget knives, fixed blades, EDC gear, knife maintenance stuff, ZT, Benchmade, Kershaw, Spyderco, Wii, Civivi, whole bunch of stuff. I'm constantly adding to it. It is a, it's designed to be a one-stop shop for people who have the itch and need to scratch it. So feel free to do so. Why did I put that away? Okay. Uh, 133. Okay. Not bad. I'm, I'm going to guess, I'm going to just call that at, at about a minute. Um, so... Let's well, nicely packaged box, by the way. I always appreciate it when we have a box that is nicely packaged but is not taped up, you know, not fortified the same way that Fort Knox is. I say that and then I just like rip, I'm just like ripping it open. Um, okay, this is very nicely packaged. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is, this is a Wii. This is heavy. Maybe this wasn't sent by a viewer. Did she... <laughs> I literally messed up the orientation of the video. Uh, there we go. Literally messed up the orientation of the video because of how heavy the knife was. That's the first time I've ever had to do that. <laughs> now you guys know what's directly up here. Anyways, um, I think this might have been sent by the Passaround group. Let's go ahead and get in here. Let's see. Oh, wait. No, no, it wasn't. This was not sent by the password group. This was definitely sent by a viewer. Oh, this is a nostalgic moment for me. So this is the Spyderco Tenacious. Um, and this is uh, this was one of my first Spydercos. I can never remember if I started with the larger. This is one of the budget Spydercos, but it is my, it's currently my most recommendable budget spider coat or starting spider coat knife if you're if you're like ah, i'm curious about spider coat knives but i don't know which one to start with the tenacious yes you can find it in the spider coat knives category in my shop so uh awesome i will pin a comment with the people or the person who um sent me uh these knives um so this is this is awesome uh thank you so much um man i'm so excited about this i'm so excited to talk about this i haven't i'm just i don't know why this knife has not been talked about yet on the channel. Such a great knife. Okay, now this is a zero tolerance that I have never, well, no, I handled it out of Cabela. So this will be the second time ever that I've handled this. <sighs> this is an 0920 Les George ZT, uh, a Les George collaboration. It's uh, based on his custom Harpy. Oh gosh, yeah, now I'm remembering. I love this. I believe that these are sadly Discontinued. Man, I think that might be false shut. Hang on. Just about. Just about. Oh boy, that is wonderful. Wonderful. CPM 20 CV, full titanium, contoured, textured. You can actually feel it. Big harpoon blade. Well, I don't know if you want to call that harpoon, but just awesome. Don't know what, how I feel about that bronze clip, but I'll tell you, I love the oversized uh hardware definitely going to be t8 hardware kind of like the gear pattern standoffs even though they're also bronze just the shape more so the pocket clip but everything else boy that is awesome i am pretty excited about that you won't be able to find this guy i don't think you can check you might be able to find this guy in my store uh but this guy's definitely in my store in uh, multiple colors so check that stuff out 
Guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this short little unboxing. Thank you to the person who sent me these knives. I will make sure once again uh, and pin um, your uh, your name down in the comments section. And uh, you'll get a, 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 a true official shout out when I actually do the reviews on these knives. So anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this middle complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.